praise for the word that he's going to send us. Amen. Don't you want anybody here need a word from the Lord today? Lift your hand. Don't you need a word from the Lord today? Repeat after me. Bishop, let the Lord use you. I need a word from heaven. Spoken through you. Given by God. Bless me, Bishop. And I shall be blessed. Somebody say amen. amen. Let us say amen again. Amen. For the Lord is good and his mercies are everlasting. Amen. Anybody other than me excited for waking up this morning? Being in your right mind. Being able to move your limbs. And Especially when you know you should have been dead and sleeping in your grave. But because of his mercy and because of his grace, we, we are able to have another day. We are so blessed on this morning that God so graciously looked at you and I and found favor. That, that, that he should grant us one more day. It's not because we've been so good. It's not because we have always dotted every I and crossed every T. God does it simply because he loves us. And I don't, can't speak for you, but I'm glad to be loved by God. The man is wishy-washy with his love man can love you one day and hate you the next day. But God loved you and I so much that he gave his only begotten son a man that he might die for you and I to have eternal life. Acts, 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 the 19th chapter starting at the first verse. When you have it, if you're able, we would ask that you stand and for the reading of God's word, not for our word. Hold your hand up and a Bible will be given to you if you desire one. Amen. Amen. That's Acts chapter 19, starting at the first verse. When you have it, respond by saying amen. 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 The Bible says... Uh, well, uh, my deacon's still looking. Amen. Uh, amen. First lady loves, they tell him where that. Amen. 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 You got it? You got it? Okay. Look like you're still turning, but I'm going to make it. Okay. Your paper falling. Okay. The Bible says, and it happened while Apollos was at Corinth, that Paul, having passed through the upper region, came to Ephesus, finding some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they said to him, we have no such much heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, and to what then were you baptized? Uh -huh. So they said, into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord. And when Paul laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongue and prophesied. We want to stop right there and may the Lord have a blessing on the readers, doers, and hearers of his word for the edifications of our souls. Somebody say, Amen. 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 We want to use Amen very briefly for a subject or a thought. Just because you do not have does not mean you cannot get. Just because you don't have it don't mean you can't get it. Somebody say amen. 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 Lord, it's again now. We come with a bow head and the arm of heart. Lord, we come saying thank you. You've been good to us, God. Better than we could ever be to ourselves. Now, God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you remove self. 
put me so far behind the cross I might not be seen nor heard. Please, Lord, speak through me that I might be able to speak to us. And we'll be so careful to give you the honor, the praise, and the glory that you so rightly deserve. It is in Jesus' name that, that we pray and we thank God and the peoples of God say it. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, just because you don't have, don't mean you can't get. Well, my brothers and my sisters, uh, as we walk through this Christian soul journey, uh, lots of times we hear the excuse that I don't have. Uh, a lot of times folk feel that they stuck right where they have because they have made up in their mind they don't have. And, and, and I found it to be true. A lot of us don't have. Because the Bible put it this way. Have not because you yes. ask not. So, so, so lots of times uh, we need to examine ourselves uh, to know where we are really at in God. You, you know, I, I, I found it to be easy, Elder Richardson, to say, say God is good when everything's going good in my life. I, I found it easy to say praise the Lord and when I got food on my table. I, I found it easy to say the Lord is all right when I got a roof over my head. But what happens when God puts you through the test? Yeah. Uh, what happens when your name come up? You, you do know your name comes up because the devil's still walking to and fro, seeking those he may divide, and God is still saying, Have you noticed? My good and faithful servant, just put your name there. The, 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 the God is still allowing the devil, amen, to test you. Amen. And a lot of times when we are in our test, that's when we make the most excuses. Bishop, oh, yeah. 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 I can't come today. I, I'm going through something. Baby, let me tell you something. The best place to go through anything is in the house of the Lord. Why? Deliverance is in the house of the Lord. Breakthrough is in the house of the Lord. Re Renewal is in the house of the Lord. So when you find yourself going through, don't allow the enemy to play mind games with you and have you want to stay at home. Oh, folks kill me talking about T.D. Jakes, they pastors. You watching T.D. Jakes on TV. What, what I want to know, Elder Richard, why you always call me when somebody died in your family? When T.D. Jakes is your pastor. What, why you don't call him to do the service? Excuses we make because we really don't want to let go of some stuff that we're doing. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. We, 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 we stuck with the I don't have. I've been coming to this church for 40 years now and I don't have this and I don't have that. It's because people are being blessed around you. Why? Because they're doing what they're supposed to do. God ain't going to bless no man. I don't care how you come in here. I don't care how you dance, how you speak in tongues, how you praise God. If you live in a mess, God ain't going to bless you. But if you line up with his word, if you line up with his word, I, I got to say that a couple times so to sink in. When, when, you, when you line up with his word, when you begin to live your life like he wants you to live your life. That, that's why I like Malachi. I don't never use Malachi for tithes. Right. I, I don't use it for tithes. I, I use it for the challenge. Thank you. God said, if you don't think I can do what I say I can do, prove me wrong. Live right and see. Don't I open up the windows of heaven and, and pour out you a blessing that you can't even but 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 I'm stuck on I don't have. I, I'm always giving the enemy credit. The devil's sick of y'all lying on him. The devil, the devil all upset because we blame everything on him. Some stuff we just do ourselves. It ain't always the devil. You know, it's that flesh that's on, that, that's on the inside of us. The flesh like what it like. If you don't keep it on a suggestion, the flesh gonna have you doing what it like. Somebody say amen. amen. 
The reason some of us can't progress is we busy looking at everybody else. When you can take your eyes off of everybody else and put your eyes on God, then you can move and get out from being in the position that you're in. Here it is, some great disciples. These disciples, but they had not been taught about the Holy Ghost. Uh, and here, here Paul come, see them together studying and going over the Word, and he just posed a question. Since you believe, have you been filled with the Holy Ghost? All right. They said they that they didn't even ever heard of no the Holy Ghost. All right. And it's sad to say that in some churches, Amen. they haven't heard of the Holy Ghost. They think speaking in tongues is strange. They 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 think jumping up and down is strange. But 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 they don't know that when you get the Holy Ghost you can't control what it does in your life. You that's why you know when somebody ain't got the Holy Ghost. Because if you can stop on the dime, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. If, 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 if you can being beat with what the music is doing. You, you, you ain't got no Holy Ghost. That's just you dancing. You, 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 ought, you ought to just be saying to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Now, 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 now lean with it. Lean with it. Lean. Because if you ain't got the Holy Spirit, you just dancing. You just doing what you see somebody else doing. And that puts you in a dangerous place. When you go to being somebody that you're not, Amen. and you don't have the power that they have, ah, uh -huh. uh, read your Bible. That 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 one prophet tried to cast some demons out, and they looked at him. They said, hey, "Who are you? How are you gonna do something to me?" Paul, I know. Jesus, I know Jesus, but who are you? And they beat him out his clothes. Why? Because he's going somewhere trying to do something with no power. You, you, you got to have power to walk through. Jesus said, listen, before I let y'all go, I, I got to breathe on y'all. I got to breathe this Holy Ghost on y'all so that you'll be able to do greater works than me. Now, now Jesus saying that if we feel with the Holy Ghost, we can do greater works than him. And, and my question to us, why are we so afraid? Why why we try to conform to everything rather than speaking out against it? Why, why can we act like it's all right for folks to do certain things in the church when we know it ain't all right? We, we, we See, the Holy Ghost gives you boldness. The Holy Ghost make you say what you say and don't worry about what nobody think about you. See, because in church, you ain't trying to make no friends. You're trying to make your way in. Somebody say amen. We, we trying to get to glory, amen. We, we trying to get to where God is at, amen. And there's no better place to be than where our Lord is at, amen. Yeah. Uh, some folks ain't heaven, some folks ain't paradise. I just say I want to be where he is. Yeah, yeah. I'm comfortable being wherever he's at. The Bible says something strange. The Bible says if any man be in Christ Jesus, uh, uh, that person become a new creature. And, and it says all things pass away. And, and, and behold, all things become new. Now, now, now I, I question that scripture because I'm saying I, I'm jacked up. You mean to tell me that when I accept Christ, everything I've done before Christ is passed away? And, 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 and not brought back up to memory? Yeah. Who wouldn't want that? Amen. Who wouldn't want a new life? Amen. After all the hell we'd have been through. Amen. Who wouldn't want a change? Amen. If you knew that you can. Yeah. Know that you can get a fresh start in yeah. God. Though folks will not try to let you change. Amen. Right. Folks will always want to go down memory That's lane right. with Amen. you. See, because you used to be the butt of their jokes, but when yeah. you got into God, they couldn't crack jokes yeah. on you no more. Yeah. Why? Because God rose you up yeah. above them. Yeah. And, and, and now they can't say bad things about you no more because now God then lifted you higher than them. Yeah. And, and the see, 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 folk like you when they can talk about you. That's right. That's right. As long as you can be the, the person they can crack jokes on, they... 
you're all right with them. Amen. But let me tell you something. God don't care where you've been. God don't care what you've been through. Amen. God don't care what you don't have. He know that in him, you can have everything. Amen. All you got to do is line up with his word. Amen. And when you line up with God's words, everybody ain't going to like you. Folks start looking at you funny. Who he think he is? I think I'm somebody in God. I, I used to don't be nobody. I, I used to be nothing. I used to be a drug addict. I used to be all that stuff. But now, baby, I'm somebody in God. Uh -huh. My walk is different now. I, I, I'm walking upright. I don't need to lean and act cool. No, because can't nobody get no cooler than my God. Amen. Amen. My God, you, you're talking about somebody that's something or somebody. My God is everything. And can't nobody beat God touching the lives of his people. Amen. Don't you know the creator know the created? Yes, right. and he know what we need and what we don't need. Right. See, our problem is we don't know what we need Amen. and what we need to stay away Amen. from. Uh, we're allowing high blood pressure and cancer and, and diabetes to kill us off. Uh, it it seems like when the doctor tells you you can't eat a certain thing, that's when you want it the most. Amen. Because the doctor said you can't eat that, now you want to eat it all the time. But, 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 but don't become stuck. Ask God to show you his purpose for your life. He created all of us with a purpose. He, he created all of us for something to do. And that's to glorify him and praise his name. That's, that's why the psalmist said, enter into his gate with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. When we come through them doors, we need to be forgetting about everything that was on our minds when we come through the door. Why? Because I'm coming to give it to God and, and I'm not going to take it back out of this church with me. I might have came in depressed, but I'm not leaving out depressed. Yeah, I, I might have came in with a bad thought, but I'm not leaving out Amen. claiming that bad thought. I, I might have came in here saying I ain't going to amount to anything, but baby, I'm leaving out this door knowing I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I'm not going to leave the way that I came. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, just because you don't have, don't mean you can't get. The Bible says, the, the Bible says, the, the, the Bible says that if, if, if you abide in my word and I abide in you, you can ask anything of me and it shall be given unto you. Now, now, now there's a clause in there. You can't ask God for nothing if you're not living the way God wants you to live. God, God ain't a genie that you rub the lamp on. There, there's some requirements right. to be a part of this fellowship. There, there, there's some things that I can't do no more. There's some places I can't show up no more. It, 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 it's some thoughts I can't have no more. But, but, but if I want to be with the Lord, I, I, I got to have a made of mind that I, I'm not worried about doing those things no more. I know I ain't the only one that got in church to try to creep back to the club. So it, it, it felt so uncomfortable. It, it, it felt uncomfortable because it, it, my mind and my heart know uh, where I'm really supposed to be. And, and then the folks don't treat you like they used to treat you. See, because you ain't got that ugly stench on you no more called sin. See, 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 sin stinks to the nostrils of God and, 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 and to us too. You, you can come in here and, and I don't care how, much, how many peppermints you got in your mouth. I don't care how much perfume or cologne you got on. I can still smell Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I can still smell Saturday night. I, uh, 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 because, see, when you are away from something, your, 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 your nostrils become keen to stuff. You, you can smell stuff and your nose is so good you can... Determine what it is. Be like, really? You been smoking Christ? No, man, I ain't been there. I know how Christ smells. You've you, you, you been around some crack. Alcohol. Brother, you been drinking? No, I ain't been drinking. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you now. Do you have to see a skunk that know it's been in the neighborhood? 
how, how, how do you do? Do, do you have to see the skunk? You don't have to see the skunk to know that the skunk been in the neighborhood. And it's the same way with sin. Though I didn't see what you was doing, the aroma is still in the neighborhood. The, the aura is still in the neighborhood. So when, when you hug me, everything you've done that night is still on you. When you shake hands, is still on you. And it's like they tell you all them drugs supposed to be the drug test for you. And you go see your parole officer and still get locked up. That stuff is just to make money off of. I had to tell my wife we were buying all this mold stuff. I said, honey, that little machine is to tell you that it's mold in the house so that you can spend your money. I said, this is what we're going to do. We ain't spending no more money. We're going to go in some places and we're going to whip it out and see what happens. Amen. We go to the mall, whip it out for a little while, look at it, mold in the house. We come to church, whip it out, and say mold. Go to somebody else's house, whip it out, and say mold. Those things are designed to keep you spending your money. Just like the devil is designed to keep you sinning. Because sin was fun. If you say sin wasn't fun, I don't know what kind of sin you was doing. Because sin, sin was fun. Oh, we used to have a ball sin. You know how we used to be the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. I don't need no water, let it. You, 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 you. We was having fun. Then we get saved and get in the church and become boring. We don't know how to shake our hand no more. We don't know how to dance no more. We don't know how to praise God no more when we get in the church. But don't you know God changed you, but he didn't change you. He wants you to keep the same zeal that you had in the world in the church. Bishop, how do you know, Bishop? Well, when Saul was converted into Paul, he had that same conviction that he had against Christians. Now saving folk lives. God don't change you for you to don't beat you no more. Amen. That's why so many folks don't come to church. They they think they gotta change who they are and change their attitude. You gotta you get what you gotta change is your way of thinking. You used to dance in the world, okay, come to church and dance with God. Amen. You was a conversationalist in the world, okay. Get from stuff. You can get it. All you gotta do is pick up a book. Bishop, I can't read. Yes, you can. Amen. You read that Bible, that Bible have you read like a scholar. Right. I'm going to tell you, because I, I, I just couldn't read. And I just started reading the Bible. Then I pick up another book. I was able to read that book. I go back and read the Bible a little more. I pick up another book. I was able to read that book. Why? Because I refuse to don't have. When I know I can have. Giving up is the worst thing in the world. Someone said, Bishop, I'm too old to start now. No. It's always too soon to quit. But it's never too late to start. How do you know, Bishop? Well, there was a, a man who went in town to get some workers. And, and, and he took some in the early hours. Then he took some in the evening. Then he took some at night. But when it was pay time, he paid everybody the same amount. And those who had been working longer said to him, well, how are you going to pay them? And they came at 6 o'clock, and I've been here since 7 o'clock in the morning. And, 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 and the householder said, didn't we agree to this amount? Just because I paid them what you had, I gave you what we agreed to. And God is saying the same thing. Didn't you agree that you're going to be saved? Then you agree that you're going to do what's right. right. Then you agree that you was not going to fail to assemble yourself together. Did, did not you agree? Because see, when you make a contract with God, God looks for you to uphold 
that contract. And if you find yourself stuck, it's because you want to be stuck, not because God got you stuck. It, 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 it's, it's you that's not moving. See, God, God don't want you lukewarm. God wants you to either be hot or cold. Simply because lukewarm don't taste good. I was watching that 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 that, that movie, the prayer room, and this old lady was talking to the lady. She said, "Do you go to church?" She said, "Sometimes." She said, "Do you praise God?" Sometimes. She said, "Well, well, well, you one of them folks that's lukewarm, then, huh?" And and she she said, "Well, maybe you can call her that." So she gave her the coffee, and she put the coffee up and snatched it back down. She said, "Man, over here, you drink your coffee." Room temperate? She said, no, mine's hot. <laughs> but she was trying to show her you lukewarm is not good enough. You got to either be all in or all out. Ain't ain't no 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 in between. Ain't ain't no in between. So if you don't got, it, you can get. If you make up in your mind that, that I'm gonna make Jesus my choice. A lot of us have a problem with Jesus. A couple of my Muslim friends, we we all talking and having a conversation down there at the little New World restaurant. They I go to their restaurant because they don't serve pork. You know, and, and I, since I was boxing, I ain't ate no pork since I was boxing because the the the, the, the trainer told me that 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 pork make you sweat and it be be burning your eyes. And it'll cause you not to be able to see in the ring. Amen. And I stopped eating pork. So 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 I never had it in my eyes because I followed the instructions. Amen. Amen. But 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 we we, we, we just talking and, he, and the question came up to me uh, 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 that well Jesus wasn't nothing but a prophet. I said, uh huh. He said, just like Muhammad was the prophet. I said, okay. I said, but one thing Jesus got on Muhammad, right. he got up. That's right. Come on now. That's right. Huh? Yeah. Jesus yeah. got up. Yeah. Muhammad's still there. Yeah. Jesus got up. Yeah. And not only did he get up, he got up with all power yeah. in his hands. Yeah. So if you don't get nothing else out of this today, my brothers and sisters, we need to understand that we need to go back to the altar. We need to find our way back to the old landmark. We need to find our first love. I know y'all remember how you was on fire when you first got in the church. Uh, you wanted to tell everybody how good God is. But all of a sudden you got comfortable and you got lackadaisical because you, you, you thought it was just church as usual. But I come to tell somebody on today, it's time out for being late. It's time out for complaining because I don't have. It's time now to get a made up mind. I'm going to serve the Lord. Is there anybody in here that don't mind? Serving the Lord. Is there anybody in here that can make up in their mind that I'm going this way and not that way? I don't know about you, but I can't keep going down the same road and get no results. Hey, if I ain't getting no results, I gotta do something different. And I have double dare somebody in here to get a made up mind that they're gonna try Jesus for themselves. Cause I found out and tried him for yourself. That's when God can pull his spirit out on you. I know mama them was saved, but that don't save you. I know mama them went to church and I go to the church that mama them went to. But if that church is not a church filled with the spirit of God, you ought to find yourself another church. Cause I don't want to be 
uh, nowhere that God ain't at. I, I can hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, uh, you got to learn how to stand and not sing. Paul said, uh, I fought a uh, good fight. And I even kept my course. Uh, but now I'm ready to be offered. Now that's a powerful statement. Uh, and some of us can't make that statement. Because we ain't ready yet. Uh, we still trying to get somebody else saved. Uh, we still trying to act like we know everything. We, we still trying to act like we the number one person in God. But baby, let me tell you something. The enemy uh, will trick you in thinking uh, you're doing what's right. Uh, the enemy will trick you in believing uh, that you God got his hand on you. Don't you know that the devil can bless you too? Uh, I hear so many folks saying, uh, Bishop, I can't make it to church on Sunday. Uh, God is really blessing me. Uh, but let me set the record for you. God do not bless you away from him. He blesses you to him. So if you got a job on Sunday, you got to let them know I got to be where God want me to be. They, they gave my wife so many points for going to work on Sunday, but she kept doing it till they gave in. They told her, let us just work some out with you. Just come in 12 hours these few days and you ain't got to go in on Sunday. But, but had she not stood, had, had she not stood, had she just given up and just started going to work, she'll still be working on Sunday. But, 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 but the Bible don't say it, but it's a saying in the world, if, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So, so, so you need to know if you not moving, ask yourself why. Why? Why ain't moving? Lord, you said that if I abide in you and you abide in me, that I can ask you whatever it is I need and you'll give it to me. Why am I standing still? The old Corinthians said that a man examine himself. Sometimes we stuck because we ain't examining up. We busy looking at everybody else. All on the telephone. James said something this morning, uh, uh, Minister Wesley preached this morning, and he said that, that, that there was some factory workers, so the boss sneak up one day. So the boss sneak up, and he see a man just, just standing on the machine like this. So he asked the man, how long you been working here? He said, for three years. He said, how much you get? He said, 300 a week. He said, well, here go $300, you fired. So he see the he see he see his foreman. He said, "Man, how long that guy been working here?" He said, "He don't work here. He's just a delivery man." <laughs> he he done just gave the delivery man three hundred dollars. <laughs> I just stand here because all I'm doing is delivering. So, so a lot of time we we prejudge the situation be, be, before. Because we go on our carnal vision. When the Bible pl pl plainly said, let the weed and the tear grow together when it's time that, that God will do the separation. Can I get a witness in here? Look at the neighbor for the fourth time. They say, just because you don't have, don't mean you can't get it. And the reason that you can get it is because some 42 generations ago, there was a man by the name of Jesus who was born of a virgin. And, and the Bible says that the Holy Spirit conceived her. And it was so ironic because when Elizabeth came about Mary, John jumped inside of Elizabeth, and Jesus leaped inside of Mary. Let them know that these two is anointed. Bishop, what you trying to say? We should have so much God on us that when folk come around us, they ought to leap 
because we're touching and agreeing on the same God. Y'all don't hear me? And somebody needs to know today that the God we serve is able to do anything but sin. The Bible says at 12 years old, Jesus began about his father's business. Went to the synagogue and began to teach those that are in authority. That's why you can't worry about how young somebody is. That's why you can't say they don't know enough. Let me tell you, God can use whoever he want to use. How he want to use them and when he want to use them. Don't let nobody discourage you. Telling you you ain't no preacher. Baby, you've been charged to ministry. Minister simply means serving. And we all been commissioned to serve. Go ye therefore into the world. Not just talking about the preachers. We're talking about the saints of God. I hear it's always thinking I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Well, a lot of y'all is AWOL. A lot of y'all is missing in action. Bishop how in the world you gonna say that? Because when the bugle is blown on Wednesday night for Bible study, I don't see the soldiers. They, they, they missing in action. Uh, and then they're wondering why they ain't moving. Then they're wondering why they stuck. Uh, you stuck because when God come to your house to bless you, he can't find you. Because you're so busy doing something else. Somebody said it. Ain't nobody but chunks in the church. Uh, ain't nobody but punks in the church. Uh, but I dare you to try somebody in the church. Uh, Battle. You'll walk past me after talking about me, slip, fall, and bust your head. And you'll be wondering what happened. God just slapped the daylight out of me. Why? Because he said, touch not my anointing. Do my prophets no harm. Somebody needs to know that God is real. Whoa, Lord. Show up real. And I'm so glad for the walk of Calvary's Hill. Anybody glad for the walk of Calvary's Hill? The Bible says they weighed him down with a heavy cross. And they begin to march him up a hill called Golgotha. A hill called the Hill of Stubb. A hill called Calvary. And they said he never said so when they got him there, the Bible said they stretched him wide, pierced him in his hands, pierced him in his feet, put a crown of 72 thorns up on his head, but they made a mistake, cause the Bible said don't lift him up, cause if I be lifted up, I'll draw every man unto me. And when they lift up Jesus, Jesus began to draw uh, all of us that was on drugs, uh, all of us that was stealing, all of us that was lying, uh, all of us that was homongers. Uh, God began to draw uh, us unto him. And everybody started looking. What's wrong with me? Uh, he don't get high no more. You done lost your mind. What's wrong with Terry? You ain't... You ain't doing that no more. You done lost your mind. No, baby. We found our mind. Yeah, we, we, we were. That song said, Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound. That saved a real life me. Once I was loved. Oh, but now I'm found. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once I was blind, oh my God, but now I see. Let me tell you something, ain't nothing better than a new life in God. Ain't nothing 
Oh, but the Bible said that they put him in a borrowed tomb. And I used to question why the tomb had to be borrowed. Then I got into my right mind. When you borrow something, you give it back. So he could have a permanent tomb because he wasn't going to stay there. The Bible says all night Friday, he was there. Oh, on a, a night Saturday, he was there. But early, 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 Sunday morning, he got up, he got up. Oh, he got up with all power in his hand. He got up with live right power. He got up with do right power. He got up with love and power. said that he would not hold no good thing when you become his child. He won't hold nothing back from you. And, and I got a song I always sing every time I turn around the Lord is blessing me and, 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 and I sing that song because it's the story of my life. I sing that song because every time I turn around the God is always blessing me. He, he blessed me continuously. Why? Because I'm always blessing somebody else. I'm always blessing somebody else. Around me, I ain't gonna see you hungry. Some of the guys will tell you that work with me. I, 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 if I eat, you eat. If I, you with me, if I eat, you gonna eat too. Young brother blessed me the other day. I just heard a conversation. And I, I, I be looking out for him. But on yesterday, he looked out for me and my wife. 300 and some dollar worth of food. Huh? Amen. Huh? Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. God will bless you when you live right. Quit saying I ain't got. Amen. And just start getting. You ain't got because you don't want. See, see. There's a criteria called tithing. Yes. And a lot of us don't want to tithe because we, we try to hold on to it. But 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 God say prove it wrong. I dare anybody to try it for 90 days. I I, I, I guarantee you you'll be tired the rest of the way. Because stuff start happening so so stuff start happening like expeditiously. It it happens so quick to, to, to you be like, my God, how does this happen? I remember, I'm going to get out the way. My daughter was having a baby. She was graduating, and we wanted to buy her a truck. Then we wanted to do a, a baby shower. And we wanted to go on vacation. Amen. And my wife needed a new car. Amen. Do you know, within five months, when it got time for graduation, she had a new truck outside. She had the baby shower. We went to Memphis, Tennessee. My wife got her new car. And everything was 
fine. When we got married, we, we didn't know how much money we spent on our wedding. All we know is the church that we used wrote me a check for $500 because we had overpaid. Because all we was doing is just dropping money off. We just dropping to make sure we had it because it came to like $7,000 something dollars. But we was just dropping the money off. We drop it all the time. I got some money to drop it to the church that we was using. But when we got married, they give me a check. They say, Pastor, you and your wife had overpaid us $500. Take, take this $500 back. What I'm trying to say, you can't be God given. Quit being stuck in a place that God don't want you at. God wants you all to prosper. Don't you know? He said, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. So you don't need nobody telling you, give me a hundred dollars and I can double that for you. Just do that. Matthew 6 and 33. Just do that. If, if you do that, God will add everything else to your life. Me and my brother, Apostle James, we trusted so God so much that we established the Bonnet Light Christian Center. We came out the door like we was TD Tates. We had that big old place charging us all that money <laughs> like we had it, but we was trusting God. And trusting God, Rita, we still here. Trusting God, trusting God when people say, uh, uh, we, we need to go somewhere and sit down. They ain't saved. But see, when God got his hand on you, can't nobody stop you from doing what God called you to do. Same folks struggling. They said, we weren't going to mount anything. Calling me, Bishop, I need you to do this for me. Bishop, can you do this? Bishop, can you do that? Same folks, Dave. Same folks, y'all. They said, uh, we're a sinner, not a church. Somebody should have told them that it ain't where you act that makes the church. It become a church when we show up. That's when it become a church. That's right. See, 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 see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's a sinner. I know it's a sinner. But the original, when I show up, it become a church. Why? Because wherever I plant my feet, wherever I plant my feet, become holy ground. They become the church. Why? Because I'm the church. That's why I don't look at this building. If, if, if I leave this building and, they, and we sold it to somebody else and they put the do drop in in here, you know what folks will be saying? They say, where the do drop in at? The first thing they say, you remember that church called Bethesda? It's in that building. It's in the building that used to be Bethesda. Look, the building ain't the church. We the church. We are the church. And wherever we plant our feet, become the church. Somebody say amen. You know, I, 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 I like down south services. Come up when you're down south, you know, they, the, the more deacons, the more deacons be, be, be showing up getting down. You know, I'm telling them, preach to them, the deacons be showing up getting down. You, you know, you, 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 you be sitting there and you'll hear one say, there's a man at the river giving sight to the blind. There's a man at the river giving sight to the blind. One of the mothers will say, Oh, you're out in the sun, and it is. 